Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. So today, okay, this video we are going to learn on a new subtopic on the conditional property. Okay, when we talk about the conditional probability, that means there will be a condition. Okay, in order we want to find the probability. So now, the notations of the conditional probability or the formula of the conditional probability Okay, so is denoted by the probability of P given A is equal to the probability of the event B intersection with the event A over the probability of A. And if the P A, that means the probability A, is not equal to zero, and the probability B is not equal to zero. Now, the conditional probability of B given A. So now, what if the question asks you to find the probability of A given B? Okay, so the formula will become Okay, so that means for here is for the condition. Okay, and for B, this one is the condition. Okay, now, the problem is how to know that it is a conditional probability. Okay, so... There are two tips. Okay, the first tip when the question has the word if, and the second tip when the question has this word given. So that means you, if you have the word of if. Or given that means this is the condition so you must use the conditional probability by using this formula okay now we look at the example 15 okay the example 15 okay the question is from statistics section 1 in a certain university, 50% of the students fail statistics. Okay, that means the student fail statistics. Okay, let's say we denote the statistic as S is equal to 15%. Then... It also given that 26% of the student fail calculus. That means the student fail calculus. Okay, we denoted calculus as C is equal to 26%. And 7% fail both statistic and calculus. Okay, now. Both fail statistic and calculus. Both fail. That means fail both. Okay, both fail. 
that's mean calculus and statistics is equal to 7%. Okay now. So now you are given the statistic in percent. So now the question say that a student is selected randomly. A. If the student fails statistic, what is the probability that he fail calculus? Now, the condition of this question A is if the student fails statistic. That means we have the word if. Okay, so what is the probability that he fail calculus? That means we are going to find the conditional probability of fail calculus and the condition is fail statistic because we have the word if fail statistic. So the formula for this conditional probability is the probability of C intercept with S over the probability of X. Okay, so this is the formula. So now we have Okay, do we have the probability of C intercept with S and probability F? Okay, so from the question, we are given the statistic in percent. So, can we get the probability? Okay, so that means we have the probability of S is equal to number of the even field statistic is 15 and even of sample is 100 because in percent the sample is equal to 100 so it goes the same to the probability of field calculus that's been 26 over 100 and for this one fill both calculus and statistic that's mean the intersection of calculus and statistic is equal to 7 over 100. Okay, now, we already have all the value. Okay, so, okay, if you want to let our answer in the decimal places, okay, we can do that. Okay, for this one is equal to 0 0.07. Okay, now, so, for this first question, the calculus intersect with the statistic. That means this probability is equal to 0 0.07. It's equal to 0 0.07 over the probability of statistic is equal to 0 0.15. So, your final answer becomes 7 over 15. Okay, now, we proceed to question B. Okay, the question, if the student fail calculus, what is the probability that he fail statistic? Okay, now, for this question, we have the word if in front of if the student fail calculus. That means your condition is student fail calculus. And the question is, what is the probability that he fails statistic? That means fail statistic if the student fail calculus. So the formula becomes statistic intercept with C over the probability of calculus. Okay, now we have the probability of statistic intersect with C is equal to 0 0.07 and probability of calculus is 0 0.26. That means 0 0.07 over 0 0.26. So your final answer is 7 over 26. Okay, now the next question of C. 
what is the probability that the student fail calculus or statistics? Okay, now, in this question C, is this a conditional probability? Do we have any words of if, given, or any condition? No, we don't have. So that means this is not a conditional probability question. So how to solve this problem? What is the probability that the student fail calculus or statistic? That means the student can fail calculus or the student can fail the statistic. Okay, so what will be the formula? Okay, so we can say that the calculus union statistic. Okay, so it's equal to probability calculus plus probability statistic over probability the calculus intersect with statistic. Okay, this is from your theory form. Okay. So you get the answer calculus is 0 0.26, probability of statistics is 0 0.15, then the calculus statistic is 0 0.27, then you get 0 0.34. Okay, for the question D, okay, the question D asks you, what is the probability that the student fail neither calculus nor statistics? That means, if the question C asks you if the student fail calculus or statistic, and the question D say that the student fail neither calculus nor statistic, that means it passed. So, calculus union as the complement. So, it's equal to 1 minus probability of calculus union with the S. Okay, this is from your theory 3 and you get the answer is equal to 1 minus 0 0.34 then you get 0 0.66.